up next on the Los Sueños Signature Triple Crown Show. Where you at, fish? Come on, oh. baby. Come on, baby. Ooh. That is not a small fish. <laughs> that bite was bad ass. The sea is on fire for the crew of Ragin' Cajun. They'll be spicing up this leg show with their own unique Louisiana style. Cajun magic. We got to toast our lady today for her grand slam, right? Right. Really cool day. But the billfish aren't the only ones making a splash. Yeah. We'll cool off in the mountains high above Los Sueños for a full day of adventure. It was fantastic. All while sharing more than a few epic sunsets with loved ones. My mom's 82, she's here. She got to see a beautiful Pacific sunset, which was fantastic, kind of a bucket list item for her. Pacific sunset with my family doesn't get any better than that. The richness, the beauty, and the magnificence of Costa Rica is always a showstopper at the Los Sueños Signature Triple Crown. The second leg is next. Just another day in the neighborhood at Los Sueños Resort and Marina, where walking your dog is its own little adventure. We make our own toys around here. Zeus! Come on. Good boy. It's a great atmosphere right here at the edge of the resort. That's a good boy. <laughs> Just absolutely amazing. Can't get enough of it. Costa Rica has it going on. Team Grand Slam ventures away from the comfort of their sea keeper to bounce around in the jungle of Central America. Off-roading in the backwoods of, we didn't know where we were, we were lost half the time, but it was really, really fun. And once you find your way down the mountain, you can enjoy the comforts of the Marina Village. It's just perfect for family vacations. There's just so much to do before the tournament that's not even fishing related that everybody's just having a fantastic time here in Los Sueños in Costa Rica. Get him spinning, Chase. Go spin him. But some know how to have fun better than others. Good job, Chase. They said, was I ready to fish? And I said, yeah, I'm sitting on ready. Ready or not, the ladies are up first. One of the best things about this tournament is the cool people you meet and all their stories and go out there and catch some unbelievable fish. There's the Grand Slam. Oh. Hydrated, fueled, ready to hook some fish. Hydration and fuel mean different things to different boats. Mine's in, right? But regardless of the fuel, 13 teams caught 56 billfish, including 19 marlin. Team Uno Mas made quick work of a blue marlin in the afternoon. Yeah, got a marlin here. Yeah. Team Eight Eights caught two marlin and five sails to end the day in third place. Really proud of my team, 100%. Everything that came up to eat, we caught. I had a great day today. We uh, started out with a blue one, came off the teaser, and Valerie got that one. We managed to pick up the sails throughout the day. Stuck with it, ended up picking up another stripey valley for a personal slam. <laughs> then at the uh, very end of the day, last second heroics, I think there was, uh, it was 3.59, had a stripey come in and my wife, Kelly, she was able to came tight on it and last minute heroics. That last minute push put them in second place, but the story of the day belongs to first place Fish Tank and their lone angler, Laura Jensen. So I fished the first and second leg by myself, and I was lucky enough to catch six marlin today. Laura's two day total is an eye popping 10 marlin and three sails. She caught a slam in the first leg and this one, which is incredible. Laura did great, as always. It was okay this leg and last leg because it was mainly marlin, but if, it, if, it were, if there were more sailfish, I would have had a much more difficult time. Not to say it was easy. A six marlin day comes with its fair share of thrilling moments. I mean, the, the craziest one, one came along the side jumping and got right into the dredge and almost broke off. And somehow she got it out of that because she's amazing. I mean, it's just the line kind of laid on the top of the dredge and somehow she was able to get it out, so 
pretty incredible. Plus Ben was spinning the boat perfectly, obviously. <laughs> so we got it, but yeah, pretty insane. Couldn't have done it without my captain or my crew. They're amazing. It was an awesome day. Team Fish Tank leads by 1,700 points with one leg still remaining, but there's no rest for anglers or the marlin. The signature triple crown starts in just a few sleeps. That leaves just enough time for a sexy sueños soiree. to be in Los Buenos and with all these beautiful ladies. Go up one more. The docks on tournament morning have an energy that's hard to explain. These are Chase's Tasty Baits. They actually uh, have a serial number here. This one, 49627, model 42, batch number 16. It was uh, year 22, September. It was one of my favorite batches, actually. What would you do for a thousand bucks? No, what you, you've got to pay me a thousand dollars. To do what? Anything you want. Oh, gee. Are your hands clean? <laughs> What what is your greatest what will be your greatest challenge today? Dealing with Lance. There you have it. <laughs> Our greatest challenge today. Our greatest challenge. Our greatest challenge today. We just got to do better than yesterday, which is a piece of cake. We'll be not getting sunburnt. Keeping my girl happy. Good morning. Gosh. Finding fish. Finding fish. We gotta find them. God, like everybody's, we gotta go out there and find some fish. That's the greatest challenge, just to get tight one more time each day. That's all it takes. How hard could it be? Slow fishing. A slower than normal start for team misbehaving leads to speculation on day one. I'm not sure, Jose. What do you mean, well? I know what's going on here. Royster's not fishing. He's keeping these suckers pinned up. He didn't open it up. He didn't open the gates up today, man. This is bullshit. The boys over on Grand Slam, also having a slow morning, take matters into their own hands with a dunkaroo. Yep, these really are the best fishermen in the world. And we got a bite a few minutes later, it was pretty cool. We'll never know if the dunkaroo worked or perhaps the gates were open the whole time, but misbehaving also shortly after gets the marlin they've been looking for. There was plenty of marlin love all around. Fish tank, still hot from the ladies only tournament, reels in two marlin and four sails for a third place finish. Laura managed a personal grand slam again, two fishing days in a row, which is, uh, when you have a co-angler like that, it it's, makes the rest of our jobs easier. I actually never saw a fish on my bait today, so I was a spectator again. Fish Tank ended the day in third place, but Team Pura Vida had the hottest rods on the ocean. They released a triple sail bite and also caught three marlin, the last one in the final moments to overtake Bill Fisher for first place on the day. Raised that last blue marlin at 355. 
and we hooked them, released them. I think it was at four. It was an amazing, amazing blue. So it's just a crazy, crazy blue. We have some good video. The thing was just going crazy. And so were we. We didn't even know. We had the radio off all day. Never knew who was in the lead. Never knew anything. So when Ashley said we were in first place, the boat just erupted. We went crazy. About three, three years ago, I was fortunate to buy this boat from the, the Galati team. One night with my wife, we were watching YouTube, saw this great documentary on this Los Swingers Stripper Crown and said, that's it, this is where we want to be. We've been here ever since. What, are, what an amazing place this is. You, you can't do this anywhere else in the world. We're, we're bottom fishermen, grouper fishermen from the Gulf of Mexico. That's, that's all I can say. It's embarrassing, but you know what? Now, now we bill fish. Yeah, so. My wife Eileen has been fishing now the ladies tournament for this last couple legs. Now she's a part of our team. Dale, dale, dale. Ella es tuyo, dale. We got hooked watching the guys fish, so we started coming with them and taking over. Very proud of my team. So excited. We want that trophy. <laughs> Love fishing together. It's a great family event. All my friends, all high school buddies. This is our dream to come down here and fish these tournaments. Leading after day one, Pura Vida is in a good spot for that trophy. It's a statement we've been making for years and years here is we just need a marlin. And now it's we need four or five marlin. You go out there and catch your marlin, hopefully win the thing. Marlin's the word of the day. Are you ready? I'm ready, boss. All right. Heading into day two, Rage and Cajun knows all too well how a half dozen marlin could boost them past the field. But for Sam and Edwina Friedman, it doesn't matter if it's marlin or scuba diving or skiing. It's just another spectacular adventure that they can enjoy together. Rick when my wife and I got married, she said, uh, I've known you for four years. You've been working too hard. If we're going to be married, we have to have something that's fun. His favorite thing in the world to do is work. His second favorite thing in the world is probably to come out here on the boat and, and uh, either fish or more importantly, watch people catch fish and have a good time with it. Mrs. Friedman began the whole thing with, with them fishing. She wanted to go sport fishing, so she's the one that convinced Mr. Friedman to go to begin with. Something to convince him to get away from the death. Came to Florida, tried fishing, and loved it. Left teaser! All right, he's gonna turn and eat now. Drop that, come on, oh. baby, come on, baby. Boom! That is not a small fish. <laughs> That bite was bad ass. Captain Kevin Dunn, he's worked with me for 20 plus years. Over that time, we've gotten to be more like family than uh, someone working for you. We've spent a lot of time on the water, traveling, sightseeing. We've been, you know, from Nova Scotia all the way around to here. And, um, but we've also done a lot of other things together. We, you know, snow ski together. Um, they used to own a place in Colorado, and so we'd go out there. He had a, had a Jeep, and we'd go four-wheel drive, you know, four by four and up in the mountains, and had a couple of razors. We've done a lot of different things together besides the fishing. They're pretty adventurous people. They like to, you know, they like to get out and do things. For Renee and I, it's been wonderful. I mean, it's the time of our lives. We came into this business to really only spend two years and what we've taken away from it, we, we couldn't replace in a lifetime for sure. When we first started with Viking, we chose the name Cajun Dancer for the dancing fish behind the boat. Uh, being from Louisiana, Cajun comes naturally. And uh, we kept that name on all the boats until we bought a yacht. Once we bought the yacht, we put the Cajun Dancer name on the yacht and we had it have a name for the fishing boat. So we came up with Raging Cajun to kind of talk about the chaos involved in catching billfish. So who we have fishing the tournament down here with us is um, Michael Levy, my wife Renee, Jonathan Garisco, of course the owner of the boat, Mr. Friedman. And then I have my team, my crew, Alex and Andreas, who are uh, two of the best guys I've ever fished with, hands down. Alex is probably one of the best fishermen I've ever had the privilege of fishing with. And we've been thrilled to have him on the boat and hope he's here this time next year and after that. 
you know, my business background is I'm in the hotel business. We got into the larger hotels and that takes you into the restaurant mm -hmm. business. And, uh, that got us into food and the restaurants and my wife has been to all the cooking schools and uh, got to be a, a very, very good cook. They had some great fun parties with uh, cooking everything from a, what we call in Louisiana the couchon de lait, the pig. Chicken Big Mamou for the Rage and Cajun. Had lots of fun cooking Cajun food for everybody. Carmine Galati talked to me in, I believe, 2014 and said, you guys ought to go see Costa Rica again. And you come down and I'll take you fishing. And that was the end of it. Once he did that, we were hooked. The next year we bought a 55-foot Viking that was down here and uh, stayed here with it and, and pretty much been here since then. 2020, we bought a house here and uh, it, it's, a, it's a beautiful, wonderful place. Bill Royce has done an unbelievable job with this resort. Being in the hotel business and building a lot of hotels and taking a lot of chance, I've told Bill that I never thought about risk like he took coming to Costa Rica to build this resort, and he did it the absolute perfect way. It's a great tribute to, to what a beautiful place it's turned out to be. Rage and Cajun will have a lot to talk about at the dinner table tonight. On day two, the team released three marlin. Across the fleet, nearly as many marlin were caught as sails. That's 57 sails and 54 marlin. Current third place team, Uno Mas, caught three of them. If you get a bite, you gotta, you know, you gotta catch it. You know, I mean, that's the only shot you got, you know. Pura Vida knows that all too well, after one of their three marlin was particularly picky. First marlin of the day, came in, pitched, he ate, spit it out, and we were so depressed. I kept letting it out, letting it out, letting it out. And then all of a sudden he came back and ate again and we hooked him. It was, went from depressed to crazy excited within 15 seconds. Pura Vida ends a wild day in second place with three marlin and three sails. Slow and then fast, slow and then fast, just an unbelievable day. A couple strikes, fast and furious, really <laughs> crazy, crazy days today. Great captain, great crew, once again, the guys pulled it out. There'll be lots of sore throats at the dock. Have some warm chamomile tea ready for observer Kenny Meyer. I know how to yell release. <laughs> Team Rum Runner, you'll probably need to add a splash of Florida Kanye. They crushed the day with six marlin, shooting them to first place, not just for the leg, but for the entire Triple Crown. Good day of fish. They just kept coming up, coming up, coming up. We kept catching them. I've been doing this for 20 years down here. It never gets old. And uh, a lot of great people, a lot of great friends. We cherish each other, that's why we do this, is to be together at one time for moments like this. This is one of those special days, you know, you gotta take it when you can get it. I think we're gonna have a great time and uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Rum Runner parties into the night with a 200 point lead, but with such wild daily swings, no lead is safe going into the final day of leg two. Anything can happen in this tournament, that's why we love fishing it. Hey, how we doing this morning there, Los Sueños? Fishing on the Ohana here on the deckhand. Last day, we're gonna get on them. Como momias. Oh. Today's gonna be the day, man. We're gonna find them today. Third day, going back yes, to the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're doing. People lose arms, legs. <laughs> Good morning, Ashley, the Huntress, checking in. Good morning. Team Rum Runner is looking to maintain their lead with an eye on the high value marlin. The biggest challenge of day three is trying to stay up top. Catch a marlin's a big deal right now, so 
Me and Joey on the rum runner, we're gonna see if we can't get it done for day three. Rum Runner gets an early jump on the day with a beautiful blue marlin, and they just keep getting prettier and prettier as they release four marlin on the final day. We just had a good day. It's kind of, we caught one at 8.15, then we went four hours without seeing one. And then we got lucky. Anyway, we wound up with, you know, 2,000 points. It was fun. Team Smooth Move also having tons of fun. They reeled in the most points of the day with three sails and four marlin. One marlin was particularly memorable. Brian put us on some fish um, and we delivered. We caught the marlin. Yes, you did. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay. Team Vaquero caught eight marlins in leg two. So some champagne shenanigans are well deserved. Their eight marlin and six sails moved them onto the Triple Crown stage with a third place finish. I couldn't ask for a badass boss and a kick-ass team. They did everything they could. They did amazing. Could not ask for a better team. I love you guys. Team Bill Fisher finished second on time with an equally impressive eight marlin and six sails. The old people did really well today. Come on, guys! You, uh win together and you don't win together. We don't like to say that other word. Well, we'll be back for the third leg and fighting hard, as hard as we can. And Team Rum Runner is the 2022 Leg 2 Champions. It's all about family. So. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I'm so proud of you. Uh -huh. yeah. That was pretty exciting. We tried hard, man. You had to put Nicaragua and Texas together. <laughs> The hybrid team caught a tournament high 11 marlin for the leg two championship. Angler Austin Angel leaves us with one final salute. Cheers, it was a great day. Carlos Pence letting us use this boat. Great team, great everything. Everything mixed up together, we caught them. I mean, it's, it's a dream come true. It's been a while, it's a good thing. It's a good thing, let's cheers, cheers boys. Over the three days, the teams released 144 marlin and 186 sails. Tight lines and Godspeed till the next leg of the signature Triple Crown.